Welcome to the Student User Guide step-by-step -step tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will cover the first step, which is simply signing in. So who is Sonia? Sonia is actually not a person at all. Sonia is an internship placement management system and a web-based platform. That way, all parties involved in the internship process, whether students, agencies, preceptors, and field coordinators, can manage the internship process more efficiently. Students will be able to find internships and organize their student forms, and agencies can organize their student interns, fill out student evaluations, and approve timesheets. Through Sonia, as a student, you will submit your site for approval, you will submit all your student forms, you will fill out your project management plan, and submit your timesheets for approval. It's also a way for the School of Community Health Sciences to monitor and evaluate student internships for quality improvement. You'll be using this platform in addition to Canvas to navigate this internship course. So let's get started. Of course, the first step is simply to sign into Sonia. So to access Sonia, you will need an internet browser and internet access. For optimal performance, we suggest using Chrome, Firefox, or Microsoft Edge. The website is https colon backslash backslash internships.unr.edu. Okay, now let's actually log into Sonia and see what it looks like. Okay, so let's go ahead and type in that URL address, which is https colon backslash backslash internships.unr.edu. And that should bring you to this first homepage and you can tell it's UNR because you see our school there plus you see welcome to UNR internships you see the Sonia online name in the upper right hand corner there are two schools at the university that's utilizing Sonia as their internship placement management system so make sure you're clicking on the correct school which is the school of community health sciences and that will bring you to your official login page, or this is the welcome page. Couple things to point out. Number one, here is my contact information in the event that you need technical assistance with Sonia. Also, if you drop down in the documents or under documents, you can see there's the student user guide to which you can download if you haven't downloaded it from Canvas yet. Plus some other important cool links that you can check out. The other thing that you want to do is switch your role. So when you click this drop down, you can see there's actually three different roles. There is site, which is your agency or organization in which you would be conducting your internship. So your preceptor technically would probably choose site. I, being the field coordinator, would choose the field coordinator position or role. But what you want to do is click on student. And you can see that reduces your login options because it's connected to your net ID and password. So just click that university sign in and sign in with your net ID and voila, you are officially logged into Sonia. Some other things to point out, looks very similar to that main welcome page, except now you have a few more options under your documents and you have other options in your toolbar here. So. Now when I click the getting started, I only see the student user guide. There's some other resources here for you to help navigate your internship, which we can talk about a little bit later. But when you are actually applying for internships, you probably want to accompany your resume with like a cover letter. So here's a template. And then there's some agenda templates to help you lead your midterm and final check-ins. And then under student forms, CHS 484, so make sure you're choosing the correct class, you'll see all the student forms that will be required for you to read and sign and turn in as part of your checks, which we'll also go over in another module. But you have to have those forms completed before you start your internship. Or if you're in a special place like Renown or Washoe County Health District, which have other requirements to conduct your internship there those student forms are here as well another thing I want to point out number one you should see your name up here in the right hand corner and you can change language if you want this is your settings cog so if you click in this settings cog here let's go ahead and do that not much here you can change your language you can enhance accessibility if you want and also there is the QR code 
which you can take a picture with your phone and you can download the actual Sonia app um, in your app store or Google Play. So that's kind of cool. Okay, I'm going back to the home page here. The last thing I want to point out is you should see welcome and your name. And then underneath, you should see the official semester that you are enrolled in. Now, because I'm using this test student platform, uh, we piloted in the summer. So you could see the summer internship cohort here. But technically, you should only see your internship cohort. So if you're coming in the fall, you're only going to see fall or spring. You're only going to see spring. If you see more than one internship cohort here, that means something's wrong and you probably need to contact me pretty quickly and I can clean that up for you. So congratulations, you're officially signed into Sonia.